I'm Jack Beck, here at Herod's Palace in Caesarea for reflection on being patient when we feel like we're in the wrong place. I gotta tell you, I'm a terribly impatient person. I hate waiting in grocery store lines. I hate waiting at traffic lines. I might be the wrong person to talk about this. But someone who gives us a real insight on patience is the Apostle Paul. And he was in this place, maybe in this very room. Now at first blush, it seems like the right place for him to be. My goodness, this was a multi-story luxury palace. It had a beautiful interior garden, it had a swimming pool, and you can see the beautiful Mediterranean Sea sweeping around us. But the Apostle Paul was not excited about being here, and he especially was not excited about being here for two years. He had other places to be. He had already founded a churches in Asia and Eastern Europe, and he was anxious to get back to those churches. And the Lord had told him he was on his way to Rome to preach about Jesus there. But for two years after he was arrested in Jerusalem, the Lord kept him here. And you got to wonder why. Why do you take this high energy, impatient guy and hold him here for two years? I think the answer is found in the culture of this place. You see, the Apostle Paul was a Jewish teacher. He understood the culture of the Jewish world. What he didn't fully understand was Rome, its politics, and its culture. And he was going from here to there to preach. And so the Lord kept him here for two years in this place that I call Rome away from Rome because it's so Europeanized. He keeps Paul here to learn and to prepare for the next step. You know, if you're feeling like you're in the wrong place today and your impatience with the Lord is growing, think about Paul in this place. Sometimes where we are is not where we want to be, but where the Lord needs us to be to get us ready for the next step in service.